Hello everyone, great to have your company on Calkine TV. This is Sage and you're watching The Buzzing Trends. And in today's show we'll be touching upon the hottest space that is keeping investors on their toes. We've got for you five small cap lithium focused companies listed on the ASX which racked up over 300% returns. And that's a lot. The stocks in focus today are AVZ Min Minerals Limited, Core Lithium, Ionia, Piedmont Lithium and Sayona Mining Limited. The prices of lithium are currently trading near a three-year high thanks to the skyrocketing demand for electric vehicles and this is coupled with dwindling stocks of silver white light metal in China which is the world's topmost consumer. The current prices of lithium carbonate are almost double compared to the prices seen at the start of 2021. And the burgeoning demand for lithium ion batteries, which are used in portable devices, electronic gadgets, and especially in the EVs, has in turn jacked up the demand for lithium. Now the global ambitions are to trim down the carbon emissions to attain neutrality in the coming decades is impossible to achieve without the con contribution of the critical metal. Hence, the demand for EVs is expected to increase significantly in the near future. And one of the biggest markets for EVs is China. They have made a huge investment towards the development of EVs and despite a substantial investment having been made into the sector for maintaining the market equilibrium of lithium, there's a huge gap between demand and supply. And the industry needs more investment in the exploration and production of lithium to meet the surging demand for the critical metal. And with that, let's now take a look at the five small cap lithium focused companies listed on the ASX, which racked up over 300% over 52 weeks in returns. The first up is AVZ Minerals Limited. Based in Perth, Australia, this lithium miner AVZ Minerals was listed on the ASX back in 2007 and the company holds and operates the Manono project located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The company recently increased its shareholding in the Manono project to 75% and received the approvals from the local government as well. The next stock to take a look at is Core Lithium Limited, which has its headquarters in Adelaide, Australia. CXO holds operations in the highly prospective regions of South Australia and the Northern Territory. And CXO is currently engaged in the development of the Finnis Lithium Project, located in Australia. And recent studies conducted on the project have shown that the site could support the production of an average 173,000 tonnes per annum of lithium concentrate. And we've reached the time for a short break. I'll be right back with more AS, ASX stocks with commendable 52-week returns, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sage, and get ready to take the crypto ride with me on Calkine TV. Watch the crypto buzz every Tuesday and join the excitement at Calkine TV from Bitcoins to NFTs to Dogecoin and DeFi. We have updates about everything around these digital currencies. Understand the investing rationale and the risks involved in the space with me, Sage, on Crypto Buzz. Keep watching Calkine TV. Sage and get ready to take the crypto ride with me on Calkine TV. Watch the crypto buzz every Tuesday and join the excitement at Calkine TV from Bitcoins to NFTs to Dogecoin and DeFi. We have updates about everything around these digital currencies. Understand the investing rationale and the risks involved in the space with me, Sage, on Crypto Buzz. Keep watching Calkine TV. Welcome back after the break. I'm Sage and you're watching The Buzzing Trends by Calkine TV. 
Moving on to the third stock on our list, Ioneer Limited. An Ioneer, or INR Limited, was listed on the ASX in December 2007. An INR operates in the Nevada-based Realite Ridge Lithium Boron Project. The miner aims to become one of the leading suppliers of boric acid and lithium carbonate in Asia and the United States. The company recently granted an engineering and supply contract to DuPont Clean Technologies for proprietary equipment to a planned sulfuric acid plant. And next up is Piedmont Lithium Limited. Incorporated in 1983, Piedmont Lithium Limited is engaged in the development of the North Carolina Lithium Project. And the lithium focused miner is involved in producing low cost lithium hydroxide. PLL recently applied for a state mining permit. It's also submitted a draft loan application to the United States Department of Energy Loans, seeking funding for its North Carolina project. And now we've reached our last stock, Sayona Mining. It was incorporated in 2000 and has its headquarters in Queensland, Australia. Sayona is an emerging lithium producer with operations in Western Australia and Canada. The company recently announced the project review of the newly acquired Canada's lithium mine, which shows potential to significantly increase lithium resources. So, do you want to tap into the most happening sector for investments? Well, those were the five ASX lithium stocks that ballooned over 300%. And here are five of the small cap lithium focused companies listed on the ASX, which racked up over 300% returns. The stocks in focus today are AVZ Minerals Limited, Core Lithium, Iron Ear, Piedmont Lithium and Sayona Mining Limited. And the prices of lithium are currently trading near a three-year high thanks to the skyrocketing demand for electric vehicles. And this is coupled with dwindling stocks of the silver white light metal in China, which is the world's topmost consumer. The current prices of lithium carbonate are almost double compared to the prices seen at the start of 2021. And the burgeoning demand for lithium-ion batteries, which are used in portable devices, electronic gadgets and especially in EVs, has in turn jacked up the demand for lithium. So that is all from today's buzzing trends. Hope you found the show informative. Keep watching Calkine TV for all such market and stock-related insights. And this is Sage signing off.